Alrighty, fellers. I decided to do a little a little thing. We're gonna do a week-long survival challenge in seven days to die. Uh, this game just had a new update, and I haven't played it in a long time. So we're gonna try it. I've tweaked a couple of settings. The most importantly, permadeath is on, so if I die, it's over. I accelerated the day-night cycle, so an entire 24-hour period is only 20 minutes. So a week is only going to be a little bit over two hours. And what else did I do? I think that's it. I think it's just permadeath and that. Yeah, that's it. So, um, hopefully we can progress fast enough to not die on our first horde night. And if you guys end up liking this, I can keep going with it. Or I could just play it on my own time, because it's fun. At least I hope it's fun. Maybe it sucks. Anywho, let's get through the starting tasks. It's showing me on the left-hand side there. I mean, right-hand side, top right. The sooner we get through these, the sooner we get to go see the trader. So I'm going to have to work real fast. Otherwise, I'm just going to get shafted. Because normally, normally a full 24-hour cycle in this game is 60 minutes, an entire hour. It's a third of that for this little challenge run I'm putting myself through. Alright, let's get to the trader, 500 meters away. Alright, we're going to go into the agility skill tree, which is knives, bows, and pistols. Here's our first little guy. Get that sneak damage and then beat the hell out of him! Beat him up! Give me my arrow back. First kill. Let's go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Zombies only ever walk. That's the other change that I did. So the gameplay is greatly accelerated, and zombies do not run ever, because there's going to be a lot of night, and it's going to come on real fast, and I won't have enough time to actually do anything if I have to hide for the whole night. So the zombies walk all the time, and I turn the difficulty up to the second highest setting. So it really is a hardcore run. One life, hard difficulty, except the zombies walk. That's the gist of it. I gotta try to kill every zombie I see for the XP. Gotta collect all these rocks too. Oh, you know what I should do? Since I'm gonna go into light armor as well, because that's in the agility skill tree, I should get some of this cotton and start making cloth for myself. I feel like I'm a Minecraft speedrunner right now. Oh, perfect. Our first trader is actually in a city. That's gonna make life so much easier. That's actually huge. Ooh, busted his leg off. How's crawling, buddy? What's the weather like down there? <laughs> My god, he's very durable. Go in here and talk to Joel, I think his name is. Raider Joel. Hi. Hey, Joel. Got any jobs? Fetch job, that's yeah, nice and easy. God bless you. It's almost night already. This is going to be a tough ask, honestly. It's going to be hard to progress fast enough to survive the Horde Knight. More feathers. We're going to try to stealth our way through this. up those clay pots. All this stuff can be scrapped for extra goodies. If I see any bookshelves, I want to prioritize those. We can have stuff that I need. Did I get any more levels? Okay, so it says the package is on the second floor.
The only reason I'm one-shotting these guys is because I'm stealth headshotting them. It would not be that easy if I wasn't stealth headshotting them. Oh, Jesus. Okay, bookshelf. I think we should be clear now. Bow crafting skill. Always good stuff. Here's the loot stash. Oh. A tier 3 bone chip. Some band aids. Weighted head. Adds a chance to stun and slow victims. I guess. I guess we can put that on here. Grab the shotgun shells, because I'm not going to be using shotguns. Shotgun this side. This might give me some, some bow, pistol, or knife parts. Craft. I want shotgun crafting skill. That turbo sucks. Give me the satchel. The trader doesn't open till 6, but it's almost 6. Already day two, and we ain't even 20 minutes in. I'm here for the goop, brother. Actually, I come with the goop. I'm gonna go with the repair kits. Next job, 380 meters. Boom. Oh, see your inventory. Yeah, take those, that, that, those. I've got 700 dukes. There we go. Just upgraded to primitive quality two bow, which doesn't sound like a lot, and it really isn't, to be honest. It's in here. Workstation is good. More workstation is even better. Duct tape. Always you want duct tape. You always need it. Duct tape and glue. Most important things. Okay, next time I come across a sink, I'm gonna have to try to break it, or a pile of pipes. If you break a pile of pipes or a sink, you can get pipes. Like, iron pipes, and you can make primitive weapons out of those pipes. Right here. I need glue as well. So this one is gonna be a clear mission. I'm gonna have to murder everything in the pass and gas. Brawler. Brawler. There's another one. That miss. Oops, that one was, uh, my bad. There's a zombie. Oh, there's one up top. Gotta be something in here, right? Yep. He did not die. Workstation. Huge. We can sell those. Wood. These are really good to break for stone. They give you a lot. They're more efficient than uh, the rocks. I always hit them when I see them. That gave me 50 and it didn't take 10 million years to break. What on earth is down here? Mission done. Let's break this sink. Hopefully it gives me some pipes. That yeah, does. Perfect. Grab the cloth. Dude, it's almost day three already. Okay, I need to apply some more skill points. Let's do parkour. And gunslinger. Oh, there's a cracker book right there. I'm gonna pin that. I'm gonna definitely go to the cracker book at some point. We're gonna go back to the trader and collect our next mission before he closes for the night, and then we're going to um, 
go back and loot that crack a book. Because that could have some goodies. Uh, take the 9 mil bullets. The closest one is this one. I've got well already, Let me sell Let's you this, this, this. All that. I'm gonna buy the glue. And... Another bow book. Much obliged, stranger. Boom, quality three hunting bow. Get one of them crafted. Oh man, we have to go the opposite direction for the cracker book. It's okay though, I'm almost certain the cracker book is gonna have a bunch of good stuff for us. It's the ops, dude! No! It's the ops! The opposition. Can't see anything. Oh, I have a torch. Haha. <laughs> Armor skill. Paper, not useful. Also not useful. Oh no, they're not double-sided. That's a little sad. And gun crafting skill. A couple more of those would be very nice. Finding a lot of bow books. I can make quality three bone knife now. Very good, very nice. out of stamina sucks. Got a crack above crate. Alright, pipe pipe pistol quality two. We're gonna craft one of those. A football helmet. I bet you I can put Yeah I can put the flashlight mod on there. Okay, we'll keep that until we don't need that. Let's get these crates and then head back to the trader again. It's already day three. Oh, I can make a quality five? How did I skip over the quality four? Or did I just... I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb. Blades. Spear. Oh, bone knife quality four. Let's get one of those crafted. That was big. That cracker book got us up to tier four knives, tier five bow, and tier two pistol. Good stuff. I think the inside of these big rigs has loot in it. I could harvest all these pallets for resources, but I don't. I don't need those right now. I need books! Let's go back to the trader. Hello, chicken. Oh no no. Get back here. Sell that meat as well, why not? I think I got like a sprain on my knee or something as well, and those zombies beat the hell out of me. If I hadn't gone into the parkour skill there, I would have died. I wouldn't have been able to jump over him. Okay, take that, 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 that. Take the pistol parts because I'm not going to be need those for a long time. Brass. I can't buy Peace Jack, Fiddly, or Frank. Brand. But I can. Load my pistol. Eee. Right, let's actually loot everything that's in here because I'm pretty sure there's more loot. Oh shit. There's a fucking piggy. Oh fuck me to tears. Fuck you, bird. Okay, what is the spray that I have? Abrasion. 
Your max health is lowered by 11, healing speed 100. Pumps and Okay, so I can use this to heal up or do something. Fine. Everything's fine. I thought we were going to have like a busted leg and it was just going to be there for like the rest of the playthrough, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. Let's get this done. I keep those cooking pots. Collect this wood pile. It says that the doodad is below me. Oh, it's right there. Handguns. Clubs. Speed. Scared the fuck out of these too many of you assholes. Pipe pistol, baby. Ooh. That's big. Three more pockets from that mod. Alright, Trader should be open. Let's get back down to him. We still have not left tier 1 weapons. This is like the most basic tier, the pipe and the primitive, the primitive stuff. There's tier 2 and tier 3. We haven't even touched that yet. You did it. Great job, Traveler. Magazine bundles. Massive. Another job. Let's do... Clear zombies. Four seven. You the man. And let me sell you all this stuff. That's a dog. I'm so lucky that he did not aggro on me. Stab him in the dick. Stab him in the knees. He can't get down. He's done. He dead? I'm gonna assume he's dead. Take that. Take that. Put that on. I don't think I'm gonna make it back to the trader before he closes. I might. I'm gonna be close. That car is in the ground. That's not right. That seems wrong. I have this game General Hospital, tier 5. I think I should go in there. We can hit this mission, then we can go hit the airdrop and then start heading back and it should be day by then, hopefully. Ooh, cobblestone rocks are good. I'm gonna need those because that's what I'm gonna build my horde base out of. That's also half the reason I've been collecting this stuff. You can make cobblestone rocks, but they cost you a lot of that kind of stuff. Gotta get in the crate. I wish I had like an axe or something to break those way faster. Your six knife. Yeah, I think I might have to be joinking that. I don't know why the smoke was here, but the drop's over here. What do you got for me? I don't know what these are. I want to try to get level 2 run and gun before the horde night. Because I'm going to be needing to use a pistol. I'm also going to want to buy some coffee as well, so I don't need to worry about stamina. I think I'm just going to build a base in case I need to retreat. I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to fight the horde on the ground, because I feel like that would be more interesting. But if I need to, I can retreat into my, my home. Oh, 
Dog V2. Alright. Look, I just spawned a wandering horde. They just spawned in over there. Gotta get the leather from the dogs. Normally the wandering hordes drop loot bags when you kill them, but that one didn't. Or I think it's just they have a higher chance of dropping loot bags, and I just got unlucky or something. Let's craft a tier 5 pipe pistol now. Let's grab that one. Oh. Ah, what the fuck? Uh. I was stabbing the one in the ceiling, and there's another one in the ceiling. Oh, fuck me! That scared the shit out of me. I was thinking that they were going to be tucked away back here, but they were just right there. Right around the corner. He's stuck, what an idiot. Parkour skills OP, dude. Oh, they're all buried supplies. God I guess it's alright, I need clay. Alright, let's go dig a hole. It'll give us some clay, and we can use that to make cobblestone rocks. Technically we need to do it, but I really hate these ones. These are my least favorite mission to do. Boot and range. Probably go in there and get some decent weapon parts. There's a prison now. I bet you this is a four or five star facility. Give it a check. Oh yeah, five star. These are just a huge pain to do. You're always out of stamina all the time when doing them. There it is. Right underneath me. Seed, we don't need that. We'll eat the food now. And then get ready for whatever's gonna spawn up here. Can't see it, where is it hiding? Alright, I think we loot the shooting range. I can craft a quality one, like, actual pistol now. I just don't have a workbench to do that. Silencer. Can I put that on this? Oh! Yo! <laughs> That's probably the goofiest thing I ever did see. There's a gun safe here, but there's no shot I'm going to be able to get into it. Oh god, look at all the things in here. moment. Oh, 
don't want to waste too much ammo because I'm going to need it for Horde Knight. Maybe I get some more ammo back. A couple pistol bullets, not bad. What's down in here? Oh, this is the range, okay. And over here. It's trap! Take out the big guy. I <laughs> just missed everything. Alright. Lots of crates in here. Let's bust him open and get back to the trader before it's night again. Well, that took up almost like the entire day. Look at how slow I'm moving because of all the uh, goodies I'm carrying on me. Ooh, a bicycle. Bicycle kind of sounds nice. Well, I got real rich off of that. We got the juice. We got a bicycle as well. Y'all come back now. Okay, with this bike, I think I can place it and make it into those trade routes really fast, actually. Let's head over there. Oh, he's, I just realized he's not going to be open by the time I get there. 75 of these. And then I guess let's collect some resources while we wait. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to the other trader though. I'm not gonna do any quests for this guy because he's in the middle of nowhere. There's no city nearby him at all. I don't like that. I like being near the loot. Boom. Great job, Traveler. Never mind. Okay, let me see your inventory. See what I want. A knife guy. Hold up. Armored up. Good books. Alright, it's horde. It's horde knife. So we gotta, we gotta get back and we gotta get ready. I'm actually gonna go back, I'm not gonna do it here. Well, this looks like a good a spot as any. I'm gonna set up my horde base right here. Oh, it's literally the painted line. <laughs> That's crazy, that block's building. Okay, a five block gap. Then we do our little ramp. Okay, we want full side centered. Alright, so that makes it so zombies shouldn't be able to jump across. Oh, damn it, dude. If I make a campfire... If I make a campfire and I place it in the middle there, I can stand up and swing down at the zombies. Perfect. Bueno. And we gotta... We gotta do ramps. And 
then they should try to pathfind this way, but they won't be able to get there. I can just jump across. Perfect. Oh, I'm gonna be cutting it so close. I'm gonna drink my coffee now, because it's gonna be here. The horde's gonna be here real soon. The horde is here, and we're not at our base. I'm just gonna make my way back there slowly, and then we can fight them there. So I can retreat up there if I need to. I don't think that I will. I feel quite prepared. I think we win these as soon as they start showing up. Just casually gathering resources during the Horde Night, it's fine. Someone's gotta finish my base. Hey, buddy. But yeah, there, there they come. Dude, this coffee is goaded. much of a horde. I guess I have only been playing for two hours and 20 minutes, so the game stage that I'm at probably isn't very high. That ain't it. That can't be it. There's no way. I don't hear any more music playing. Dude, that can't be all of it. Game stage. Game stage 33. I don't know if that's high or not. Oh, it's morning. Yeah, that was it. There is no more to do. Yeah, I could make two clothing pocket mods. Increase my space. Then we're gonna call it. And if you guys like this, like this type of thing, let me know in the comment section down below. You know, share, share the video, like the video. Let me know if you want to see more of this, because I would be very down to do more of this. It's quite fun, actually. A nice change of pace from Tarkov. This Tarkov is a pain in the ass. More often than it isn't. <laughs>